back to our channel. So today we'll be reading Pokemon Time Out for Tortric. Ash, Pikachu, and May were on their way to a new town. Let's race, Ash said. I can't wait for a new adventure. Slow down, May said. First, I need to learn more about my Pokemon. Use your Pokedex, Ash said. May took out her small electronic gadget. She looked up the name of her Pokemon, Torchic. Is that Torchic is a fire Pokemon, May said. It has many attacks. Just then, a Pokemon crossed their path. Look, Ash cried, there's an Azuri. It's so cute, May said. I want to catch it. May threw a Pokeball at Azuri. The Pokeball hit Azuri, Azuri popped in. But Azuri popped right back out. First you have to battle Azuri, Ash told May. Then you can throw a Pokeball at it. Right, May said, Torchic, I choose you. Torchic came out of his Pokeball. Use Peck Attack, Torchic, May cried. Torchic ran at Azuri, but it missed. Torchic's beak got stuck in a tree. Torchic tried again and hit Azuri with a flame attack, but Azuri was not alone. Torchic ran into Azur Mari in Mari 2. The three Pokemon blasted Torchic. Torchic fainted. We need to get Torchic to a Pokemon Center, Ash said. The friends ran as fast as they could. On the way, they came to a strange place. Tall rocks rose up from the ground. A man was looking at the rocks. His name was Professor Alden. He told Ash and May how to get to the Pokemon Center. As soon, they soon reached the Pokemon Center. May ran up to Nurse Joy. Can you please help my Torchic, May asked. Nurse Joy looked at Torchic's Pokeball to a machine. Torchic is fine, she said. He just needs to get a good night's sleep. Ash, May, and Pikachu walked around the Pokemon Center. They ran into Professor Alden again. He told them all about the strange city of rocks. There's a stone room here, he said. Legend says that it links our world to the ancient Pokemon world. Wow, May says. This tablet told how to enter the room, said the professor, but he added four keys are needed to open the door. Then some lights went out. Some people ran in. Three houndum growled at their feet. It was Team Magma. Nurse Joy ran to the room. There's no power in the Pokemon Center, she shouted. Suddenly Team Magma grabbed Professor Alden and take us to the City of Rocks, said their leader to the professor. Team Magma looked, locked Ash and the others in a storeroom. Then they took away the professor. Oh no, cried Nurse Joy. We must turn on the power of the Pokemon. Being healed are in danger. Pika Pika, said Pikachu. The little Pokemon found a way out through the air shafts. Ash, May, and Pikachu crawled through the air shafts. They found their way to the main desk. They turned on the power. Good job, Ash said. Now we have to help Professor Alden. Team Magma for Professor and Alden to lead them to the Rock City. We have the four keys, the leader said. Tell us how to open this door. We want to get to the ancient Pokemon world. Professor Alden placed each key in a special place on the door. The door opened. The walls inside the room were carved with drawings, but there were no Pokemon. These pictures show people and ancient Pokemon living together said the professor. Amazing. Who cares about drawings? Snapped the leader of the team, Magma. We want to capture some ancient Pokemon. Team Magma left in the helicopter. Ash, May, and Pikachu ran up to the professor. Are you okay? Asked Ash. I'm fine, said Professor Alden, but everything was not fine. Ash heard a noise by the door. It was Team Rocket. We'll just take these keys, said Meowth. Pikachu, stop them, Ash cried. Jesse sent out 
Arbok to battle Pikachu. Pikachu slammed Arbok with quick attack. Arbok slammed into Team Rocket. Then Pikachu zapped them all with Thunder Shock. Looks like we're blasting off again, Team Rocket cried. The keys rolled back to Professor Eldon. He put them back in the door, then something amazing happened. The sun rose in the sky. When the sun's rays hit the keys, the room began to move. The stone floor lit open. The four friends walked down the stairs. They came to a big cave in a lake. Something moved in the water. A Pokemon jumped out of the lake. It's an ancient Pokemon relicamp, cried Professor Alden. That is true, said Professor Alden. This room is a link to the ancient Pokemon world. It's a good thing Team Magma did not find it, said Ash. The friends went back to the Pokemon Center. May picked up her torchic. It was all better. They, let's race to the next town, Ash. May said, I can't wait to have another Pokemon adventure. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Pokemon Time Out for Torchic. And stay tuned for another book read coming soon. Take care, guys. Be happy, be safe, and make sure you guys are reading. See you soon. Bye. Bye.